Hey everybody, it's S here, and I'm here to give you a quick rundown of all the features in KSP.20. Starting off, we have the new Cupola window, which um, looks like the module on the ISS. Uh, it is fully IVA capable and has a really nice view from the inside, uh, so this will add to uh, your space stations. Uh, another new capsule looks like the small probe part. Um, this was included as well as the cupola in the KSPX expansion pack. And here is the IVA from the inside, which also looks really nice. I'm glad they added that new dev to the team here. Uh, coming up next, we have um, two new probe bodies, um, different from the other ones. And uh, here we have um, Kerbal seats, which Kerbals can sit on and control the craft from. So that's going to be cool for buggies and crazy contraptions like the one you see here in the video. Also, we have another new large engine, which is somewhat akin to the mainsail, designed for space travel. Um, and also, we have a large docking port to cut down on wobble on larger constructions. In addition, we have new wheels um, that seem to be tolerant to going a lot faster than before. The big addition is flags in this one which are not only plantable on any surface, um, you see here on lathe, but they are um, editable, as you can see here with our custom flag, the two rocket guys. You can also name the site at which it's planted, and you can put information to be shown on a plaque whenever it is read. Uh, so you see in just a second here, close. And there is a plaque right there, which reads um, whatever you put there. Another big change is the tracking station now has um, tabs that you can swap through for different kinds of parts, include, or different kinds of ships, including debris, which is very nice. Um, over here we have uh, the Kerbal uh, database, which has information on each planet, um, as well as the, uh, the data itself. Uh, switching to a ship will allow you to view its tonnage, number of parts, that kind of thing, uh, location, and the crew members on board. Uh, this will be really helpful for getting between your craft quickly. Um, another few changes are uh, a lot of memory optimization. There have been a lot of optimization changes, um, something like 30% less memory use. The game runs a lot smoother now. Uh, a couple other minor bug fixes, but uh, yeah, that's the point twenty update. Um, so hopefully we will get resources soon after this. That's planned for the next update, unless they push it back again. Anyway, quick update, guys. Uh, get to work. Have fun in point twenty. See you later.